Today, we are doing something completely different. Hey everyone, it's Angie and we are going to look at my garden today. I have many interests uh, and usually we talk about cemeteries on this channel. I love cemeteries, I love going to, to look at them and doing the tours, but I really wanted to do something a little bit different. So today we're going to have a look at my garden. So I am gardening in Canada in zone 3B, um, which means that uh, obviously a lot of things I can't grow here because our growing season is pretty short. Usually we don't plant until the end of May and we can usually get till about September. But um, what I have in my garden it was planted, um, I believe on May 23rd. If that's not right, I'll put a time here. And uh, today is July 2nd. So I have some footage that I'm gonna insert throughout the video just so you can see how it's progressed since then. But uh, this will be the full tour of where it is right now. All right, so let's start over on this side here. So down this row, I have squash, um, beans, and corn. This is, I believe, a spaghetti squash um, or a butternut. I can't remember which one I planted where, and I did not put any markers in there. I have a bunch of beans growing here. These are all bush beans. And then I have, um, they're called patty pan squash. They are starting to grow and they're super cool. They look like little spaceships, which is really, really cool. We've got some corn back there, mostly just, just to see if I can actually grow it. I'm not expecting to actually get any cobs, but we'll see. And then on here we have more beans. These ones are bush beans and then the other two sides are pole beans. And you can see there are actually growing up the post which is really cool over here we have another squash this one oh this is the butternut so that means that the other one is the spaghetti you can see in here that's a butternut forming here we have dill which is literally out of control right now it is growing so much I started these from seeds everything has been started from seeds in this area the squash I started indoors back in March along with the dill and then everything else was direct planted here we have cucumbers these are slicers I'm gonna insert a, a quick video or photo of the one that I've already harvested and then down here are more cucumbers those are for pickling. And then down this row here is tomatoes. They're all the same type, Roma tomatoes. Started these by seed. And um, we've already got some forming here. Nothing ripe yet, but they're coming along. So I'm really pleased with that. In here we have beets and then the carrots that we planted which really did not work out this year there's only a few um, but that's okay because last year we planted a ton of carrots and we just didn't know what to do with them all lettuce there was arugula the arugula got eaten completely by some kind of a pest same with some of the spinach and the lettuce they kind of were eaten Today I just planted some more beets, so I'm hoping to get more to add to this because they didn't all come up this year. And down here I have cabbage, and there's only two of them, there's another one right there. There was more, but same thing, they got eaten. And this here is chives, which I planted last year and it just came up again. So yeah, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So the new addition to the garden this year is all the straw, as you can see. Um, I didn't do that last year, but this year I thought I'd give it a shot and see how it goes. I'm really liking it so far. It does keep the garden um, wet longer, so I don't have to water quite as often. 
the some of the stuff did not grow as much as I'd like it to and um, unfortunately I haven't really been able to get out here too much because I had an appendectomy three weeks ago yesterday and so when I was obviously was not able to bend or do any more planting so I'm starting to feel a bit better now and I'm able to kind of get out here thankfully I've had um, Brandon to help with some of the weeding because it's been a little out of control um, but yeah this is the garden and I have some two other places where I have some stuff planted so go check that out so down here down here this used to be all rocks and um, we pulled all the rocks up and planted some flowers and some herbs down here. In the corner back there was a uh, echinacea, which the rabbits ate completely down to nothing. And these are all different poppies, which again, the rabbits pretty much decimated this plant. It's actually come back, which is pretty good. These ones are a different type of poppy. Um, I think it's a purple grape poppy. It looks, the leaves look completely different. So I'll, it'll be interesting. This one's a red poppy, so. We'll see what happens. I can't remember the name of that, but I will put that on the screen. The rabbits also decimated that. You can see this stick here was a flower. Uh, it's starting to get a new bud here, which is really good. But pretty much they ate everything. And then back there, if you can see, that one there was also an echinacea that they ate down to nothing. We've got some marigolds in this area. Those ones I all started from seed as well and then over here I have oregano that's lavender thyme and basil and I'm really hoping that this stuff some of this stuff will come back next year so that I can just keep um, the herbs growing every year the basil I think is an annual so I'll have to keep planting it but um, I'm hoping the rest will come back all right the last thing I have planted is these three pots well, there's a few other pots, but these ones are peppers. These ones I started from seed as well. They are coming along really well. They are chocolate bell peppers. Um, and I decided to do them in pots this year because they get a lot of sun on the deck. So last year I planted them in the garden and they basically the squash took over and just killed them out. So I'll do that there. This is a mixture of mint which smells absolutely amazing and um snapdragons which probably shouldn't have planted together but when i bought this mint it was like there was like nothing and now it's literally taken over and these are more peppers these ones are not doing quite as well i think these are the tangerine sweet peppers these two there was a third one that's pretty much died off and they're not doing so well. This is a jalapeno that I had actually purchased and you can see there's, I've already harvested one pepper, but there's another one. My jalapeno that I had started pretty much died. So I just bought that one after. This is my cilantro that is gone to seed. This is pretty much at the end of its life. And then we have some flowers down there, a few cactus and succulent and some flowers here, which I cannot remember the name of, but they're starting to die off now too. So that is my garden tour. It's um, just a little short tour, something different. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do these again, but I just thought I'd give it a shot. I will hopefully have put some other video in there or photos of some of the garden earlier on this season. Uh, just to compare, I tried to do this vlog once before, but the audio just did not work. Uh, so I had to re-record it. But hopefully you can hear me and that you've enjoyed. And if you have, again, um, and you like cemeteries, please consider subscribing to my channel. And um, yeah, maybe we'll see some other different vlogs soon. Thanks.